The barbs are disappointed. Board in the house, in the house board. All right, so I lied about these boots, y'all. <laughs> It's been a nightmare. We've been in the airport for about three hours. I have days where I'm not feeling attractive. I have days that I'm just like, down. The barbs are disappointed. Like, let's talk about it. Early, early in the morning, waking up, and we're all waiting for Bigfoot. <laughs> and it's just not giving. I'm disappointed because y'all know I'm a barb, and Nikki's she's still the hardest. Like, lyrically, she has it. She has a talent, but lately and along lately nikki has just been given this very cringy attitude like all the animations they're kind of i'm not even gonna say they're getting old because they only fit where they fit sometimes the animations go hard but in this day it is it was really distracting and disturbing i feel like she got a couple punchlines though you know um i mean i wear a size eight and a half nine so i don't think the bigfoot joke is funny <laughs> it's a good bar but it's not really funny uh, the baby will party while rubbing on Tory Lanez to pay. Like, that was hard. There's a couple things in there. That's one thing I remember about her. Um, but a lot of the punchlines she had already gave us. <laughs> like, some of these things we already seen tweeted and talked about 24 hours before the, the actual track. So, mm. then you know what? Like, you know how something's got to sit on you for a minute? Like I told you, I love music in the car. Ah, I just don't know. I don't think you have that potential. Love. Let's have a talk. Girl to girl, mommy to daughter. Listen, I don't want to give you my booby anymore, mama. I don't want to. It's becoming overwhelming. And mommy wants to get me boobies. You destroyed mommy's boobies. When mommy was growing up, this was her thing. She had a chest. Don't tell to mommy's belly button. I can sit up and feed you. Sita, she don't understand. She don't understand. No, no. Sissy. Our braided loves here last night while she was sleeping. Sissy. Sissy. There's just so much snow. Say something. Love. Love. What you gotta say, love? What you gotta say? You gonna say something? No, 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 it's almost six though. It's just now starting to get dark. So I'm noticing a little shift in the darkness. And just just left on my door. Now I know they say I see that 0% crime rate.
but if you guys watch something, they leave stuff like that on doors saying vulnerable women, that's like trafficking. So I'm putting this shit right here on this camera. And I'm gonna get off this camera, pay attention to call a man time to come downstairs. Board in the house, in the house board. Game day today. So we're starting early because there's never enough time when you got kids. I promise you, Dom said one kid is one kid. We have two kids, it feels like 30. It shan't even last. So we're about to go ahead and get ready. It's already almost 2 p.m. Uh, peace, I put him in the shower now because I want to activate his curls without his hair being wet when y'all side. So let's go ahead and get ready. Who's up? Perfect timing because I would. How do I like that? It's been on the charger. We gonna get love in the tub and stuff early, so we gonna be dressed and ready. I don't want to hear Dre. Y'all need to get ready at four because four obviously ain't enough because I got ready at four last time and he was late. I'm sorry, I was trying to guess. This is the same thing. I don't know who this person is. They said I spent a life with these people. People see what caution shooters they be riding with. Dre's famous pasta. Pre, yes. pre game and post game. They're going to be like, he just had that t shirt on. <laughs> Duh. Get out of there. Get out. Stop. I told you, you don't do that to your sister. I think I'm actually going to make a little more in depth today. Just because. So, we're going to show that first with her house. <laughs> Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down Then you do not have to pretend Like there is no way out I should've never let you in Cause you got me face down And don't take this personal
came in and left us. We're about to find out where he is. Daughter Sports Legacy. Babe! I'm pretty sure this is the locker room back here. Maybe not. Hi! <laughs> How are you? team has to stay back to help set up for a party so i'm about to drive home and i ain't gonna hold it really you got an attitude i don't got an attitude i'm just a little nervous because i don't drive nowhere besides the store around the corner taking both these kids off this car i literally fell on all types of stuff and they held me down my feet didn't get wet or nothing so i just have to give a good review about these boots I know some of y'all may be like, okay, them is old, but this is a classic boot. Like, I appreciate anything luxury that's classic. And I wouldn't even mind a couple different pair of these because they're giving what they're giving and they're going to last. Look at her getting down, y'all. Look. Mom, let me take your socks off because you'll be slipping and sliding. We're back home. about to warm some food. Unwind. Unwind, unwind, unwind. <sighs> Bust me in the lip. Okay. The weather has delayed our flight. It's been a nightmare. We've been in the airport for about three hours, and Love and I are heading back to the retro day. Um, the flight is just delayed. We got on that bus and they told us to get off. 
and we already are going to miss our connecting flight from Boston to Charlotte and Charlotte to Pittsburgh. So yeah, we're going to Pittsburgh. I was trying to keep it quiet for you guys <laughs> just for the weekend um, to handle a couple personal things. So we are going to hopefully get rebooked for tomorrow and try this again. But I am now trying to look for a taxi service. The wind and stuff is crazy out there. It was crazy on our way here, so. I found me a little shoulder to put love in. Oh yeah, that's all right there. Listen to how quiet it is here. This would never be like this in not even just Pittsburgh, no state airport. Trying this again, love. Ha! Huh. It's happening! Let's talk about the worst luck. It's right here. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Had the call triple A. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with the Jeep. It just won't. It was drifting and now it won't start. So hopefully just a battery issue. At least that was it. Can you just leave it at mommy's? Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Here's all the right here. Right there. Yeah, okay. So you gotta get yeah, all this off. Get all that off. Yeah, so you gotta get yeah. all this off. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 that's not that bad. You got Car ain't going nowhere. This is some bullshit. It's the alternator. <laughs> Jim Shorky's probably closed now. Because what it probably would be easy. I just don't want to send it there and then I'm being charged about a day for it sitting there. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm leaving. So it's not, you know, it's going to be me putting stuff on y'all to go pick my car up and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, I'd rather just sit at the crib and then when I get back, I'll just handle it. Yeah. If I was staying longer, that'd be different. It's just one thing. It's a it's mother effing other. It's like you were just driving it. That's what you're so I'm telling you, right when I got to this that little yield area right there, it just drifted. When we were in the car, I told you, I'm like, oh, it just jerked. You didn't, and you was like, my car's been doing it. I'm like, it just jerked. Oh, uh, yeah. That and was the, the first thing. And then when I came right here, he so, checked it that with his machine. That's uh, how he knew. And the machine said what? The machine it said it was an accelerator. He said how low it was. He was like, I wouldn't be surprised if it just clicks off on you. That's why I'm like, my mom is going to follow me. It just won't move. All you'll see is like in my gears, they're blinking. Yeah, and the, the car is saying, the car is saying, put it in park and then put it in the gear you want. But it's like, yeah, everything's on. Your engine light. Shit's crazy. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? There was a black cat under my car today. And <laughs> it was. And it did look like it came up yeah. out of there. Maybe that motherfucker rode from the O. <laughs> it's like a black kitten came under the car. And now I got all this shit happening. It was a little kitten. And my uncle's friend was like, that cat came up into your car. I thought that I thought it probably was outside in the no, over like there. It came, so like it, it came it, out the car. It did. It looked like it came. It looked like it came out from under the car. Was now this thing is just windshield wipers is like bye bye. But the fucking lights come on, y'all. We going. <laughs> Shit, we gonna be ramming in here. <laughs> the back, yeah. Like if it keeps swishing us into the back of there, like we we'll like. Ah! Yeah, that's how Chris. <laughs> my heart is pounding. Now my mom's car just started busting out air. Look, she and doing it. it's the AC. Like I didn't even touch anything. Then it. Just this motherfucker just stopped in the middle of the damn road.
what a day, what a week, what a weekend. So it's Monday and I'm ending this vlog. Yesterday, I ran into so many issues with the truck, as you guys see. I don't know where the hell it came from, but um, I just have it parked at my mom's for now. Like when I get back, I'll handle it. I felt like something I just don't want to deal with right now. I'm not staying that many days, but when it rains, it pours. So I came back just to handle a few things and ran into that. I didn't come back to take care of my truck. That like wasn't on the agenda, but we got it towed safely and on to the next. Last night, I was just so overwhelmed and frustrated because one, it's been a pretty stressful couple of weeks anyways, like this whole transition to Iceland and my business just not where I want it to be, myself, and I'm probably dealing with a lot of postpartum and I'm just very vulnerable with you guys, but I am like, damn, it's just not getting any easier and I'm trying to like not have that mindset, trying to be positive, trying to keep on going and work through it, but it's really, really frustrating and um, I'm praying for a better week. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to get on my camera and explain this frustration in a way like this. We'll just pick it up tomorrow. And uh, I did handle the business I had to handle successfully. And um, now I'm just excited to get back to my boys. So I'm ending this vlog. Uh, stay tuned for more. Um, definitely, definitely considering coming back home. Uh, I just don't think it is my time to just be a complete stay-at-home mom and just be out in Iceland. Like, beautiful place, amazing thing, but it's just not it. And then another of my ideas, like, just staying in the end and Drake season and then just picking up where we left off, you know? I don't know. But of course, if you guys are subscribed, you guys will see it. And if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in always. And stay tuned for more vlogs. It's love week coming up soon. So that'll be great. Uh, let's see what happens. And thanks for watching as always. Peace and love. By the way, I'm in my sister's room. It's so cute. Her lighting is like phenomenal. I could say the least though. It's been great just to come home and kick it with my mom, my sister, my ground. It's always good to be around that love and support, you know, so that's been swell. See you guys next week.